I'm baby, oh, I'm baby shit soft. I'm good. Okay. Right. <laughs> hey, man. So, uh, oh, what y'all think about this uh, this Columbus police shooting of uh, the 16 year old? Dude, it's, 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 it's still. For me, it could go either way because she is wielding the weapon, but somebody raised a great point was like, why would an officer take a chance of shooting and being and putting himself in a situation where he could have hit multiple people, not just that person, right? I mean, it, but the, the distance wasn't that that great of a distance, you know. And if you're proficient, uh, you know what you can hit, and you know what you can't hit. And there are cops that can't shoot oh. for shit, and this is a cop that can, you know. Right. Yeah, there, there's some that are, yeah, are, are that are that are dead eye, you know. But there's some. Mind you, there's moving parts. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like she was just standing still. There's moving parts. People were twisting, turning, you know, she's, she's, you know, trying to get after this, you know, this, this that chick in the pink. But again, you got officers who go their whole career and never pull their sidearm. Yeah. And whatever they pull, it, they may pull a taser to try to defuse the situation. Yeah. I know he saw what he saw. Yes, you can use deadly force, but that shouldn't be the first yeah. thing you think of. I, you know, I can say you got other, you, you, you have a taser, you know, and everybody's like, well, he should have ran and rushed her. I'm not rushing nobody with a knife. That's a fucking, <laughs> I I gotta you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, it, it, exactly. Like I said, it to me is, it's 50, 50. It's not like you can't put it in the same category as the other ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? He had, he had, he got. He actually has the law on his side. Plus, the other it's thing, up to it's his discretion. The other thing is, is you know, if he would have shot and hit the other girl, they would have still charged that the 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 chick yep, with the knife. The girl with with the, the murder. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So they, you know, they kind of have a, a, a blanket immunity type of thing going on, where you know they'll Pretty put much. it all on you. Yeah, I know. Pretty I much both, but um, it's still your fault. Let me let me ask you a question. Call me, you know. Yeah, I, I saw the videos and uh, I saw the I heard the actual nine one one tapes. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, f- f- before I say anything, I'm I'm a little confused about one thing. Now they said that uh, the young lady, uh, you know, Makaya, rest in peace, because at the end of the day, she was sixteen yeah. years old. Right. Somebody else, somebody said one thing. Uh, they said it best, and they said, uh, you know, at 16, you know, who the fuck wants that to be their life? That's all they live, to 16. Mm-hmm. You know, you got so many hopes and dreams about the future, and then it's gone at 16. Um, but my thing is this. They said that she was the one that called 911. Now, when I heard the tape, I heard the first tape, which was important because the second one somebody called. They just said, okay, the cops here. The first one I heard, I heard somebody say, hey, these girls are at the house and, you know, they're trying to fight us. They're trying to stab us. So my thing is, was it her that called or was it somebody else? Um, the other thing is, you know, and, and, and that's why I don't like a lot of he say, she say, but I guess some people who looked into it. They said that it was a foster home mm-hmm. and that all the girls belonged to that home. And it started because somebody started you know, bagging on her about how nasty her room was. Wow. And it, it spiraled out of control. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> either way, I'll say this. You know, I'm of the mind of other people. Uh, we lost a young lady, but also a young lady who was able to go home, go home. I don't know if she started some shit or not, but you know, it was something petty that got out of control, and I think that some adults failed them. There was a, a motherfucking yes. grown ass man. I saw that sitting there kicking. Yeah, screaming. I saw him. Yeah. He jumped in. Yeah, not my baby. And instead of breaking the shit up, he right. was kicking some young girl who who got knocked down. My Makaya. He was kicking her in the fucking head. Right. And then when she got shot, he was like, "My baby. Well, why didn't you try to grab your baby?" You know, she would have recognized you, hopefully. Right. The girl was upset. She was enraged. Hopefully, she would have recognized you. Right. Uh, but, you know, she got failed right there. I think the foster mother, whoever else was standing there. Yeah. But my thing is this. 
again, a 16 year old girl gone, but we, I, you know, I'm, I'm hard pressed to put racism on it. You got a lot of people speculating, you know, if it was a white, two white girls going at it or not. Right. But when you see that tape and they slow it down and she was mid swing with that blade towards that young lady's throat, it's like yeah. the officer I feel had to take some kind of action. Right. But people say it could have been a taser. Yeah. My, uh, Mr. Coppola said he wouldn't, have, you know, he wouldn't have rushed. I wouldn't have rushed either because we're talking about what if her arm had a went back when he was rushing her right. or something like that. But he had to take some kind of action. One passed away, but another sister went home. So it's, it's kind of the ground is real shaky as far as just, just taking a solid stance on it. You know what I mean? She's definitely. My thing is why is, why is that? Yeah, why, why is it always the end of all ends? Like the deadliest resolution. My point nine times out of 10, you know, right. traffic stop death. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Domestic call death. It, you know what I mean? It's like when it comes to, you know, people of color, there's no alternative. You have to die. If, if, you, yeah, if you, if you call, if you call on us, best believe, you know, bring the corner, you know, also call the corner. Somebody's going home, you know, they, they're, they're leaving the building feet first. I'm thinking this one. I started saying, what was the, go no, ahead. I'm, sorry. I'm thinking this one, this, this police shooting is more of an outlier. And I think it's mainstream yes. media that is, uh, that's tossing it in with the rest of this shit. And it, it's, it, we've been so over <laughs> fucking pumped with, with, uh, police shootings. I mean, like as soon as we right. hear cop shoots, black kid, you know, we we're automatically furious. I mean, it, we saw it with right, LeBron right. James. I mean, you know, he ain't pulling down a tweet because the first thing we all think is like, man, what the fuck is going on? What the Another fuck? One? Exactly. You know, right. <clears throat> and they make it more, they make it more out of that tweet yeah. than, I mean, what actually happened? Is, yeah. Is he not supposed to be fucking furious? I right. mean, it, it's so many of them that sparked off, especially after that verdict. But go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry, Cuddy. Would you but say? No, I'm just saying, um, if, if, this is the one time when they where they should should interview the the girls who were going to be stabbed. Interview their parents and right. see what their parents think about his actions. You know, this this cop in some there you go. some sense should be considered a hero. Um, and it's media that's throwing this in with you know the Breonna Taylors and the the George Floyd and, and everything else. Right. Yes, it could have been handled different. Yes, uh, you know, there there are a lot of things you can there's a lot of ifs you can throw at this shit. But at the end of right. the day, that cop's a fucking hero. Um, and the other thing is, is what the like this goes on our fucking generation. Number one, you have a bunch of black kids getting into it, and then somebody picks up and calls the fucking cops. Okay. Now we know what the fuck happens when the police mm -hmm. show up. Every adult that was around the motherfuckers should have had that shit yep. settled down. Yep. Before the, the cops came, dodge by the time the fucking cops. Before the up. cops came, yeah. like yeah. oh, so and so called the cops. That's yeah. when everybody booked. Because when anybody, you know, back in the day, we hear that they call the cops. Mm -hmm. We gone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. when everything stops. The fighting stops. Everything right. stops. You know, you know somebody said that comes that. up when the police shows up. Right. I mean, everybody. Yes. Jail it's for some a, dumb shit. It's it's exactly. Some everybody. Yeah. They bring in a paddy wagon. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's gone. Yeah, and somebody said that too back in the day. They said they said when 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 the cops would pull up on us, we drop every goddamn mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, we're done. We're gone. Everybody gone. Right. If we had a ginger ale, that motherfucker was on the ground and we was, <laughs> we was in the other direction. You know, God. I I agree with Ed in the sense that, yeah, why is it in every fucking situation yeah. from cigarettes to it, exactly. a legal gun license it's deadly. to a fake 20 is all it's, deadly. It's deadly. That's all. I, I, I you, like you said, Tank, he do it, do this. Actually, he saved lives right. that day because it could have got, it, it could have got extra ugly, you know? Right. But. but you know what? But you know what? That question is an important question. You know, for Mr. Coppola, it's always expiration. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we can't sit up here once again, going to Cuddy, we can't act like a young lady didn't make it home. Whether she popped off some shit, let me tell you something. Sixteen-year-old girls get into it all the time. Yeah, you got grown bitches that, if you in traffic and 
let me say something. When, when I was going to when you would drive to work in the morning, I would see women on the motherfucking phone cussing somebody out at eight in the morning. <laughs> and at 30, coming home, I would see somebody cussing somebody out. So the fact that 16 year old girls is getting into it, you know, is no shocker. The young lady, somebody, if, if she called the cops, I, I, I just kind of, I'm, I'm finding it hard to believe that she would call the cops and say, somebody stabbing me, trying to stab us, and then go out stabbing somebody. The cops are already, are, are already present, and she's actively going after the young lady. Like, I understand. And she's a big girl. Right. You know what I mean? So. But that, it still don't matter, baby, because she, she's 16. Just like they, they, they think. Right, because right. of uh, you know our our what we look like in our statue or whatever we're we're older right. and you know more adult like no this is a baby she's sixteen right I don't give a damn she right. was four hundred pounds she's right. still and sixteen only, the, right and the only reason I mention that the only reason I mention that is because she bowed down another young lady yeah who looked like she had some weight on her and yeah. just took old girl and threw her ass up against the fucking car yeah and the girl was just standing there obviously she wasn't minding her business. But she threw her up against the car. You just saw the blade. So, and, you know, you, I, I can't paint this as, 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 a, as a, you know what? He saw a black motherfucker and just shot. Yeah, right. I had to I had to look right. at it from a different perspective from uh, the lady at the house. She pointed out, she was like, you do know that. I'm sure the girl with the knife saw the cop. Yeah. And she still kept going hard. Right. You know, she pushed the old girl down. Then she went over to the other chick. And was, you know, right there. And the cop was like, you don't see me with my vest, right. my gun. You don't see none of this. You don't see my car. You don't see none of this. Right. So I, yeah, I get that. I, and I, and when, when the lady said that, I was like, well, shit, you, you kind of right. Because our instinct is when we see the cops and we're doing something foul, we, our track shoes right. is tied tight. You know, we gone. Right. You know, but yeah. she was, yeah, she was on one and wasn't going to stop until, right. you know, something happened. And again, I necessarily, I don't, I haven't plugged all the way into this situation. So I'm not going to, you know, try to act like I know all the facts of what was going on. But right. what I do know is that, again, what Tank said, that the the the, the adults that were there, it was just an epic failure. Right. They, they could have handled I, I, that's on To me, this whole situation is on them, not the police. Man. As of, I just found the it. facts that I have right now, it's on the adults who were there. It's on them. I just... I just found it fucking cartoonish. And, and you know what? And let me backtrack. Somebody said in a lot, you know, somebody else was making, they made the comment that, and, and we know this to be true, that in a lot of these foster homes, those parents really don't give a fuck. It's all about the check. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just found it cartoonish because I had to rewind the video back. And I actually caught it on a slow motion. Homie screaming, oh, you shot my baby. But motherfucker, you was kicking another young lady in the head. Somebody else's baby, right? You that's the, that's the one of the quickest way to to take what them on. Like, and they should bring right. charges up on his ass too. Exactly. He they, that 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 they need to go back look at that video and see what he was doing to that young lady who hit the ground. Right. Because when you watch it, there there's a third there's a third uh, vantage point. The neighbor across the street had a camera that caught the whole shit. And okay. when the girl fell, you saw this grown bastard walk over, and instead of trying to grab his his baby, he kicked the kicked the young lady in the head. I just, you know, for me, the young lady made it home, and her parents don't have to mourn. It's it's sad that it's a give and take situation. Literally, mm -hmm. one life was lost for one to live, but I can't just look at homie and say he saw he saw black and and lost his mind. Right, you know. Uh, you know, what, what, whatever you want to call it, the motherfucker is a hero in the situation. Yeah. That might not be the popular opinion, but hey. That's what it is. Like I said, we all have our own opinions and we all have our own views yeah. on this. So, like I said, because I, back, but it's know, just, again, it's, it, it's coming. These, right. these, these events are coming so, so rapidly. I mean, we, we just got a, I can't even say a full victory, a half a victory because George Floyd is still dead. That's not a victory. Right. Well, shit, you know what I mean? Not and, yet. That part too, right. but the fact that right. we all was on pins and needles on something that was so clear cut, yeah, right. And and, and, and you know what I mean. That's what make it so fucked up. That's why it's it's a hollow victory, right? And 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 just to back up real quick, the lady lady of the house, man, your lady, she made a good point because I didn't even think about that. 
Yeah. And I, I and it and it stopped me. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. That cop was that right there. She, she wasn't that far away. She was kicking ass literally in front of the damn cop. Right. And it was another one off to the side. Yeah. But he the one that shot wasn't that far away. And I didn't think about that. But you know, you I think it, the shit just it, it happened at the wrong time. Because for me, yeah, I'm happy homeboy got convicted, but we know how to Amber Geiger walked into a brother's motherfucking apartment and shot him dead. Told every goddamn lie. Witnesses turned up dead. She pretty much got the equivalent of two years. It, it's funny how they work magic around the sentencing. Mm-hmm. Even right. when you know what the minor guidelines are. Right. The minimum, excuse me. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, everybody was cheering. And I'm like, yeah, this is good. But it's still so many. Who didn't get justice? Yeah, and, and I hate the and I hate the pundits now that are saying, you know, well, now you know any activists who call the cops, you know, they shouldn't allow they, the cops shouldn't be allowed to show up for them if they need if they need assistance. Like, dude, this is we're doing this case by case. We could do this case by case, right? And break it down, and just so you could have some clarity and understand that we're not against the cops. We're we're against these crazy psycho motherfuckers who think that is cool, you know, to, to to put a knee on somebody's neck. And now I've, I saw something that they're bringing another charge against him for a, a 17 year old, you know, they're, they want to bring, cause he, he choked the kid out or whatever. And, uh, they're, they, they want to file charges on that one as well. On top of his conviction. Let me so, say one more thing. Cause you, you raised the, you raised, you said something very, very intricate thing right there. And I'm going to just say this. I'm going I'm to ask a question. At when did at, at what point did being a cop become synonymous with white? Because I, I remember people saying cops, and we all know that black cop who go way the fuck overboard mm-hmm. to prove that he down. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody said white cops. Nobody is saying that all cops is bad. You right. have certain cartoonish characters out there saying all cops. No, we talking about talking about him, the guy on the video. We, Not all right. cops are on that video. It's him. That's right. all we're saying. It's him. Right. But they want to lump all that right. in because it's it's provocative. It's sexy. It sells. It, it's 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 baiting races against uh, race against each other. You know, you and go. we're not trying to we're not trying to do that. But they want to distract from what's really going on, and that's all yes, that is, is is a distraction. I don't want to be distracted. I'm focused on this dude. Now, if I have to say yes, his name sir. every time. So be it. I'm not talking about cops. I'm talking about that that bastard on that video. That's it. Not right. Not every cop is in that video. It's that guy, and understand right. that. But it's real easy to blur the lines, and that's what they try to do. You know, and that's why everybody's going in on LeBron. You know, he he missed he missed he misstepped on that one. Right. You know, because he's like Tank said, he's just frustrated because damn, we just got the verdict. You know what I mean? And now this happened. So his first, his knee jerk reaction is, yeah, now you next. Cause I'm literally watching the verdict, you know, on one screen. And then the next screen, you know, this little girl just got killed yeah. by the police, you know, you got to think about all this the shit that transpires from the time she picked up that phone to call the police and to the time the police show up, you know, you hear sirens, motherfuckers come out talking about, we called the police, you know, this and that. And the shit still doesn't right. die out, you know, and the poor girl was a victim of circumstance. She had bad fucking parents mm-hmm. around her. She had bad adults around her. Um, uh-huh. You know, just right. made a terrible decision to, to, to pick up a knife and go after two two girls, and, and it cost her a life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I hope that they charge the adults who were in charge because everybody looked like they were all minors. So, whoever was at home that day should get sued. I don't give a shit if you whoever house that not. whoever house you know. Break that shit up. That's your property. We all know what the fuck happens when it's what happens. You know, especially and, especially now. You know better now, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm I'm going in extra hard and saying that they should be charged. Yeah, not not you the know not what? the cop, but the adults. They should be charged. Right, right. Because you know, one stood there, and like I said, the other one participated. Yeah, he participated. Yeah. You know, and they need to bring that motherfucker up on charges because I almost laughed when this nigga said, my, not my baby. And then I saw, and I saw this motherfucker was, 
Kick you know, game. And, and I, yeah. I hear people, I hear, I see people online saying shit like, whoa, what would you do if somebody came to your house? Now, let's look at this other story. There was a, a, a brother in New York whose son, these, these white guys came to his house trying to hurt his son. It was a pack of them. And he did the best he could to get them away. He wasn't fighting them. Now, eventually, he ended up killing one of them. Mm -hmm. But he did what he had to do to try and get them away first. That's why he got off on it. Because, first of all, they, should, they, they shouldn't have been where they were. And second of all, he did try to talk to them. He made his son get in the fucking house. He didn't let his son sit out there with a goddamn knife or trying to do anything like that. Right. My point is there was not a responsible adult in this situation. Yeah. There was not a responsible adult. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Here they hold, they hold, well, you know, they, 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 if, you know, your child is chewing, they hold the adults accountable right. in a lot of states. And if your daughter's out there swinging a knife and you kicking a motherfucking young girl, you need to be held accountable as well because you easily could have stepped in that situation and tried to defuse it. Now her life is gone and you, you looking at the cop you need to look in the fucking mirror. You know what I mean? There's plenty of times when the police get it wrong, but this time, man, we got to, you know, we got to look at it from every angle on this one as well. And it's up to him to make that decision. And he, he made the decision. That's all. You also got to keep in mind, and again, you know these officers uh, also rendered aid to that young girl. Uh, immediately there you go yeah. immediately immediately, immediately. That, look let, let me say this that's why that goddamn tape came out so fast that's yep. why everybody's saying hey man the tape came the tape came out so fast because they're confident and sure that they did they didn't do anything wrong mm -hmm. but then, they're being transparent in the motherfucker that's yeah, you that's know like a, a thing columbus pd does all the time because they they end up shooting right. people like twice a week but um uh, the body cam footage comes out immediately you know there's none of this whole yeah, shit until everything them. dies down right. is get it out you know we'll face it head up right know. right right because 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 what, what was homeboy in virginia that that shit happened in december the the officer that was stopped the military officer the lieutenant that was stopped they said that's it that shit happened in december a lot of these things are happening the previous year and all that shit and we just now finding out about it but i'm glad they released it you know um to switch gears, you know, we we talking about good cops. You know, a uh, woman by the name of uh, Carol Horn, former uh, former police officer up in Buffalo, New York, she just got her pension reinstated. Why? Because she stepped in when another officer was abusing somebody. She they they ended up firing her. The police officer who was a lower rank than her was cussing her out and all kinds. Of she, she was every bitch on earth. Like you don't ever interrupt. Okay. She got fired, but but you know what? She just got her pension after all this time. She fought him. And uh kudos to her because a woman, she stepped in and did the right thing and probably uh stopped another situation like Mr. Floyd's or something like that from happening, you know. So Yeah, you gotta give it up when they get when they get it right. You gotta give it up. You know, you gotta pay attention when they get it wrong. Either way, you know. And you have to And sure. And I'm I'm everybody's, you know, Emotions and feelings are, are running at extremely high, especially after the verdict. But you have to pay attention. It's, it's case by case. You know, you cannot lump all these in together. And I think that's what happened with Mr. James. You know, right. he just got caught up. He caught wind. Somebody whispered in his ear. He saw the text or something and just yeah. fire, fire one off. You know, right. so I mean, it, it happens. But now it's you see how how sinister and how deep that they're going in on them and it ain't even about what's really going on. It's some other stuff. It's him personally. Now they, they coming at him, yes, his whole, you know, his so-called agenda, you know, but you got, it's, it's crazy. Karen, man. Candace Owens running her mouth. Everybody got something to say. And uh, you know what? The brother made a mistake. The brother do more good than any of these talking head motherfuckers Facts. out here running their mouth. About Facts. You know what I'm saying? Off the court. Ain't nobody put up the kind of money he did to educate these children. So fuck these motherfuckers. Put a long dick. From old painless. Fuck them. I, I, you know, it. they look, look, he a brother with money and he a brother that's actively out there trying to do any, and it's more than just that. It's more than just that that he's done. So they just, 
all my motherfucking yellow ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, trying to come I saw one there talking about how, you know, he, he wouldn't uh he wouldn't turn away if if cops were to protect him and his multi million dollar, you know, uh, estates and I was like, do you, do you still understand he he comes from public housing as well? Y'all try to make it seem like he was always this LeBron James. You know, like right. like he's been rich his whole life. Y'all know y'all, 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 y'all know his story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Thank you for saying that. And that's what pisses that, me that, off. They make it seem like he's right. always been at the top. Yeah. You know, he, he earned his stripes. They didn't give a fuck about him who was until the fa- they who was found the- out he could play some fucking basketball. Right. And remember, right, he was right. the, the poster boy for, you know, shut up and dribble. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they can't stand him. He is the, the, you know, right under little Nas X would be LeBron. You know, it's been far, on- you know. You got who was the fat motherfucker, uh, the, the sports commentator guy, wore the detective hat and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Was always saying fucked up shit. Either way, when it came out that uh, somebody spray painted, you know, the N word on yeah. Mr. 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 Uh, James's uh, home. Yeah. You mean to tell he, this this dude? You mean to tell me that LeBron James, a uh, multi-million dollar basketball player, is experiencing racism? No, I think that there was just an ignorant person wow. who sprayed something on himself. That's not racism. Wow. Like, really, my that, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> really, fat nigga? Really, fat boy? Really? To what he, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not that. That wasn't what it was. What what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that what does that word mean on on somebody's house million dollar house not not when not when he was in the not when he was in the you know in public housing but when he was in his mansion that's when that happened right Come Jason on, Whitlock said that shit he gotcha. said that shit I got you you know he always had a bone to pick with him you know just like Skip Bayless always got a bone to pick with the man yeah you know and and my thing is all y'all can do is nitpick. Yeah. And and not and I feel like you know what I, I'm gonna say it once again ain't and one of these motherfuckers who got this bone to pick with the brother doing what he doing as far as giving back so fuck him yeah you know what? Thing is if, got if you can nitpick on what he's doing wrong and you know inst- instead of focus on what he's he's done more right than wrong but right. the only thing you can focus on is the is the negative and then, like you said man you know mm-hmm. I got you know zero your respect for you for, you know, insinuating that he's that type of dude. Right. You know, he right. came over that brother been on his grind since he was 18. Right. You know, what right. have you accomplished since you've, you know, hit that threshold? Have you carried your, right. your, your family, your city, your right. state Ooh. on your back? Hey, just think about all that. At that age. And, and, yeah. and if this is his misstep, I think he's doing damn good. If this is his only misstep considering, the right. stereotype that they have on us. Just think of the misdemeanor you know, they have right, given us over the years. Weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and it, and it, and Serious it, it, missteps. You know, yeah. and all he did was put out a knee jerk tweet. Right. Uh, just a knee jerk tweet after all these years, him being in the public eye. He he. This is his only somewhat misstep in him, and for some of the you know diehard fans, him getting hurt or him leaving Cleveland. Yeah, let me say something. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Job. Come on, we, man. We, we just, <laughs> right. We just, we just coming off of a, a of a presidency mm-hmm. where uh, the 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 commander, uh, uh, you know, uh, the the leader of the, uh, of the the supposed leader of the free world, didn't do shit but put out knee jerk tweets. All, all day. day long. All you day. know what I mean? And nobody and these same motherfuckers is talking about LeBron. They didn't have a word to say. But 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 it's all about keeping the brother in their place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way they think about this dude, and I wish he had never did this magazine cover, but he probably didn't think anything of it. Think about when they did the King Kong uh photo spread, uh where he had the Brazilian chick in his arms mm-hmm. and then they put it side by side to the, I think it was the 50s version of King Kong. Mm. And it was the exact same shit that she had on the same dress. You know, there's a place that they want to put that brother in, and they can't. You understand what I'm saying? So, again, shout out to uh, uh, Mr. James. The other thing I want to say is this, you know, real quick. Let's back it up. As far as policing goes, it, it is it is extremely important, and it is detrimental that we as a people call that shit fairly. 
and yeah. not lump everything in, you know what I'm saying, and put it in the same basket. Because yeah. when you do that, it harms us when the shit is legitimate. Right. Mm-hmm. You got motherfuckers, you know, whatever anybody believes, you got people, whatever whatever you feel about Al Sharpton, every time he shows up, you got people to this day. You can you can go on YouTube, pull up commentary by these right wingers that still bring it up to Wanna Brawley. Mm. Yeah. Just to discredit anything he says, no matter how right he is. So it's 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 it is detrimental that we call it fair and we be honest and try to be as objective as possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and I, you know, I've heard some people say, Hey, they just killed another young lady. And in the comment section, you see brothers and sisters saying like, you're conveniently omitting the fact that this young lady was actively trying to stab somebody, another young lady. Right. You can't, you you, you got to have all of the facts, you know? Yes, sir. That's it. You know, we could walk and chew gum at the same time. We could figure this out. Just look and see what's going on and assess the situation. You know, some people, you know, that cop had a split second to decide right hand, left hand, you know, Glock, taser, you know, or jump in. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know, try to get inside that guy's head at that time. You know, that's, 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 that's on him. But again, I'm going to go back to the, it should have never got to that. Once, you know, some, everybody knew, I'm pretty sure everybody there knew that the cops were called. You know, she running around here poking folks. Somebody picked up that phone and called the police. Like, we can't nobody stop her. You know, and again, that adult jumping in, you know, kicking a girl who's already down. You know what I mean? So I don't even know what the hell that was about. So we, that's a whole nother story. You know, and hopefully, you know, he does get charged. We're doing some stupid shit like that because it, you know, in the in the in the crime of what's that? Anybody who dies in the crime of a uh, can get charged as well. Yeah. You know, it, it, and it's so important uh, that, that that you 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 say that, Mister Coppola. I heard somebody say I was listening to this other brother's video, and he said, "We as a community failed that young lady. No, the mm-hmm. fuck we didn't. Her parents failed her." Her daddy failed her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The guy who was in, you know, in her charge, you know, was in charge of her when he did what he did. And, you know, I'm I'm not going to keep harping on the same thing, but things need to be put in the right context. So yeah. it's unfortunate. And that, that young lady could have been a superstar in anything she chose to do, man. And so the sad thing is we'll never, we'll never get to know. Yeah. Yeah, that just said uh, we 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 can't even we can't even catch a you know catch our breath from one situation. We we keep going from situations to situations, and what now we got that other one uh, was in in the Carolina about the brother who got brother shot. shot in the back. Yeah, me the brother got shot in the back, and in, in Carolina they were serving uh, doing a uh, a warrant, serving a warrant on him, and. Uh, yeah, they end up killing him. That was on uh, this morning, but right, that, that you can't keep track, man. It's just so many that just that just keep coming, and you have to sit down. You, you try to tune it out, but you don't want to jump the gun and then lump them all together like right. many many right. of us been doing because it's so it's exhausting. And, right. uh we just got to sit back and look at the facts and like, dude, I, I just watched the whole thing, and this, these are my thoughts on that. You know, I think that you know and. The, the last case with the young lady with the with the knife, you know, the cop had, you know, he had what his discretion. It was at his discretion at that point. Yeah. But with these other ones, this guy who just got shot in the back, dude, you just don't know until the body cam and everything else comes out. Yeah. You know, it's one of those we got to wait and see uh, again. The media yeah. has no problem yeah. spending this shit um, to get views. You know, it's it's the worst thing in the world because if if they would have came out and said that um, there was no, you know, police racism or any of this bullshit uh, involved with the, the, the 16 year old uh, Micaiah, um, you know, it would have been a done story. You know, they wouldn't still yeah. be, you know, putting that talking shit about mm-hmm. for three, four days straight, getting people right up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause now it's about LeBron. 
Yeah. You know, it's not even about the, 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 the baby who died. It's about LeBron now. It, 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 it you're right. It takes, it, it spins off so quick when you don't focus on what's really at hand. You know, they, 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 they will spin the hell out of it just like that. Just like we were talking about the, 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 the verdict saying that, oh, he, that, that cop would never get a, he could have never got a fair trial because of